Hello, and thank you for watching this tutorial video about Label Editor Professional Software. In this episode of the How To video series, we'll be looking at the layout of Label Editor Professional and going over some of the basic operations. When you first open the software, you will be presented with a small window. This is where you can tell the software what printer to use, what tape is loaded in the printer, if you want to import data from Excel, or if you want to jump directly to templates we have preloaded in the software, such as safety signs or facility signs, you can go do a shortcut to the cable labeling application where you can create patch panel labels or wire identification, the equipment management area where you can create equipment management labels, or jump directly to the QR code generator. If you do not want to see this window every time you open the software, you can simply click Do Not Display This Dialog at Startup and you will not see it again. For this example, we are going to use the Pearl Label 360 printer and a 24 millimeter tape, but if for some reason it's incorrect or you don't know what tape supply is loaded in the printer, you can just hit Get Tape Width and you'll see it automatically adjusts for the tape that's loaded in the printer. By hitting OK, it brings you into the workspace. So right now, the cursor is automatically in the printable area of the label. This red box is where the label is able to print. Any information outside of that red box will not get printed on the label. So if you want to go ahead, you can just type in some text and by clicking into the gray workspace, it will add these little green dots around the text. By clicking on these green dots, you can stretch and shrink the text to make it fit better into the print area or you can customize it to look any way you want. As you can see, the layout is very familiar. It's based off of Windows programs, PowerPoint, or Word. It should be very intuitive for you to jump into this software and start creating labels. The top row of icons, we have the new open, where you can go to uh, files that you've saved in the past, or you can start fresh. The save obviously saves the file that you're working on. Text allows you to add more text to a label. Import Frame allows you to import data from outside sources such as Excel. You can also add a border to your label. We have simple borders, arrowed borders, or decorative borders. You can also import images. With 360 DPI printers, you can add a lot of detail from images that you import. The Symbols Library, we have over a thousand symbols for industries such as ANSI, AV, Data Center, Electrical. So you can really add a lot more detail to your labels. The GHS ISO border, you can add GHS and ISO borders. barcodes. We have European and US standard barcodes as well as QR codes. You can jump directly to the QR code generator by clicking on the QR code icon and you can add quite a lot of information with the QR code. By hitting the print icon, opens up the print window. You can tell the printer how many copies you would like to print, or you can further customize the label by adjusting the graphics, the printer options by telling it to cut or not cut. And if the printer has a half cut capability, this is where you can tell it 
to half cut or not half cut. A half cut is just cutting the top portion of the label, making it easier to peel off, or in a series of labels, creating a strip label where you can peel off one at a time. The next two rows are applications that you can further use to customize your label. For example, you can add shapes, you can add a table, you can also, if you have a ribbon supply, tell the ribbon to repeat print, you can take a screen capture. You can further adjust this image, but we'll get into that in a later video. The fit to label just blows up the label so that you can make fine adjustments to whatever you have already um, in the label. The cut, delete, copy, pretty self-explanatory. If you make any mistakes, you can always undo or redo. You can get into the properties of text or images by hitting the properties icon. Tell the printer to feed or cut with these two icons. Can rotate images and text clockwise or counterclockwise. You can adjust the location of the text or images with these icons or move to the right side or left side of the label with the tape beginning and tape end icons. Text can further be um, customized with these icons right here and like Microsoft Word you can align the text to the left side, the center, or the right side, adjust and justify it across the entire label, select horizontal text or vertical, or automatically resize. So as you can see, it's very easy to jump in and start creating labels. It's very intuitive and very, very powerful software. This left side area helps you specify the label parameters. Again, you can select your printer, the tape supply, Print Paste option is a more advanced feature which we will get into in a later video. You can align the, the label to print horizontally or vertically. And the most important option is the margin setting. This is where you can tell the printer to adjust the margin down to one millimeter. This is a huge cost savings for expensive materials such as heat shrink tube or magnetic tape. It's about a 65% cost savings per print over our competitors. So this is just a basic overview of the software. Feel free to jump in and play around with it. There's really no way you can screw up. It's a great software program, very easy to use. And if you need any further assistance creating customized labels, feel free to contact us. We can be reached between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, Central Standard Time. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Come back and check out some of the more advanced features in other videos that we have posted. And enjoy using your label editor professional software. Thank you.